We realized that we would actually exceed the Energy Star level. And then it just became this thing we couldn't stop thinking about, like this challenge, like what would we have to do or could we do and hit that net zero value. When we talked about building a home, we were only going to build once and we just wanted it to be our home and something that would really be impressive but yet cost effective. As a custom home builder, we're not a spec builder, we're not a development company, so you know what we build is very reliant on the client that we get. These folks were interested in energy efficiency already. So when the LEAP opportunity came along and we were happy to take part in that, feel like we were very fortunate to get to, everything kind of came together. We learned that you have to really push on every little detail and you really have to strive to hit it exactly on the head. You need to really work with the professionals uh, like an energy advisor and a, a proper mechanical engineer or designer insulation on the exterior and then also a rain screen and then your siding and then your trims you want to make sure that your team is on top of it and so looking at all those details um, throughout construction was certainly another key point to success for us we learned a lot about mechanical design throughout the leap process the original mechanical system that we had sized by a supplier was about three times as big as it needed to be. They managed to build a house actually very impressively with extremely low air changes so it doesn't leak, with really good insulation. Consequently, we needed a very small mechanical system and what they wanted was in full radiant heat. This is our mechanical uh, closet. This houses our uh, high efficiency gas boiler here. It's an in-floor radiant heat system. This is our ERV unit here, so you can hear it going right now. It's breathing for the home. All the loops begin and end here, and as a result, this space could be a little warmer. So this actually takes the ambient temperature and compresses it and uses that process to heat your hot water. So it's very efficient. It produces a little bit of cool air. And so those two things together um, actually complement each other really well. So the, that's the mechanical system. It, it, it's basically keeping the comfort level where it needs to be. Because otherwise it'd be too cold, too hot, too stale, too unhealthy. So the mechanical system is vital, it's very important. It's not an add-on. So this building is net zero ready certified. We came from a mobile home. The cost of heating that is 10 times what I'm paying here now. You can't beat having an energy efficient home when, you, when it comes to dollars and, and your savings in the long run. It is performing really well, especially in you know, our colder weather in the winter. It's just comfortable in here. Air feels nice to breathe, it's fresh. It's got a really good system, partly because they were able to accommodate it with the structure. Well, they're benefiting both on the health aspect of living in a home like this as well as the reduced cost of operation, which always feels good, you know. When we hit the mark and they're happy with their home, at the end of it, it's a good feeling. This is the way a house should be built. These are the types of houses we want to build and we're just going to aggressively pursue that now.